5.22 p.m. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until we are parked at the gates and the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. For those of you connecting here in Detroit, we recommend going to your connected gate or checking the over monitors for gate information. So I should say what brings me to Detroit. I'm here for two things kind of wrapped into one. I'm here for the Detroit Maker Fair. It's happening this weekend. I'm speaking twice about podcasting the industry, how to get started, all that stuff. But the Maker Fair is at the Henry Ford Museum. That museum name should be familiar to some of you. It's where I donated my 13 IMAX. Remember these machines? So those computers are on display right now. So I'm gonna get to see those IMAX, kinda see them again, and I'm gonna bring you along with me on the ride. The Henry Ford Museum is all about celebrating, honoring, and educating people about American entrepreneurship and innovation. Now obviously you have Henry Ford and the Model T. Ford sort of permeates everything in the museum. Then you also have people like Thomas Edison and Steve Jobs, people who made everything from agricultural equipment to airplanes. All of that is featured here. It's really a fun place. I'm not the most patriotic guy on the planet, but there's something to be said for America's impact on the world in these areas, and the Henry Ford really encapsulates all that in a, one place you can go visit in an afternoon. Now, of course, uh, I saw the IMAX. It's basically the first thing I saw when I came in, sort of accidentally, I came in through a side entrance, and they were basically just right there, so I got to see them first, and it really was pretty cool. It's a little bit like seeing a significant other with somebody better and cooler than you, but that quickly faded and I was able to just enjoy it. I saw people walking by, taking pictures, comparing the different colors and finishes, and it really is something special to me. It really warmed my heart to see them on display here at the museum. Now, they're part of an exhibit about transparency and translucency in different types of design and different types of industries, but the iMac is really the heart of that exhibit. The thing I enjoy most about this YouTube channel and the blog is taking technology that but people maybe haven't seen or experienced firsthand and be able to share that in a meaningful way. And that's one reason I think this weekend has me so excited is that these iMac G3 is a part of the permanent collection here at the Henry Ford. That means for generations to come can interact and see these machines in a way that they may not ever have otherwise. I think that's pretty neat. The Maker Fair was this crazy mix of things. You had people cutting wood with lasers and 3D printing stuff. You had this weird contraption that basically shot fire in the sky when kids hit these bullseye targets. Uh, lots of educational stuff, lots of science stuff. You had cosplayers, all sorts of Star Wars things. There's a group of people who all build their own R2-D2s, which is like the most fascinating hobby I can ever think of. Also got to spend a little bit of time in the archives at the Henry Ford Museum. Now I can't actually show you anything from in there, so here's some B-roll of basically how it looked. It was really neat to see some artifacts that aren't out on the floor, including the Henry Ford's working Apple One. There's only like 13 of these computers that work in the entire world, and to see one of them up close really was a special treat. Now, of course, I was here to give a talk about podcasting, about how to get started, how to be successful. I think that went pretty well. I had some good questions at the end from audience members, and I really enjoy giving talks, doing public speaking. I'd like to do more of it in the future if opportunities arise. But all in all, that's pretty much my weekend in Detroit. It was a lot of fun. I think it was a big success, but I'm pretty much ready to go home. So until the next one, adios. <laughs>